Fay and Amy Poehler. Good evening. We are here tonight to celebrate Don Rickles. And honestly, it's almost like he's here with us. You can feel his spirit in this room tonight. Oh, Tina, Tina, he is here. Jesus, I thought that was somebody's purse. So sorry. So sorry. So sorry. Don's work ethic is unparalleled. At 88 years old, he's still doing stand-up across the country, which begs the question, why? Are you out of money? Is that why you're always doing casinos? Is it a gambling problem? Are you in that wheelchair because the thugs beat your knees? Blink if you need help. You know, I remember watching Don as a little kid in the 70s and thinking, wow, that guy is old. And after seeing Don Rickles perform when I was little, I knew what I wanted to be. A short, a bald Jewish man. What you said, your thing. You know, when the producers of this event first called us last night, I said, it's three in the morning, who died? And they explained that everything was fine. It's just that they were planning a comedy event and uh, no women had agreed to show up. So I said, what award is Jerry Lewis getting? And they said, no, 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 it's not Jerry Lewis. It's Don Rickles. So I said, oh, Don Rickles is the best. Amy and I would love to come to your event. And they said, wait, how are we calling you and Amy in the same bed? And I said, don't worry about it. It doesn't concern you. So here we are, because they thought it was important for Don to be honored by at least one woman, which apparently is what we count as. <laughs> yep. Yeah, thanks for uh, sending one car for the both of us. Did you send Seinfeld a half a car? We are thrilled to be here because Don is the real deal. He had his own variety show and his own sitcom. He called both of them the Don Rickles Show. That's the kind of creative genius we're dealing with here. And what an honor this must be for you to have your birthday celebrated on Spike TV. <laughs> Just knowing that this will air between tattoo nightmares and the hunt for Bigfoot. <laughs> so. It's what your mother dreamed of in the shtetl. I'll always remember the first time I met Don. I went over and said, Mr. Rickles, I'm such a huge fan. And he said, Sweetheart, just the check. <laughs> but the great thing about Don is that his jokes appeal to everyone. Pollocks, Chinamen, the coloreds, broads. What, no? We're not allowed to say that anymore? Why is he still saying that? Yeah, he should probably stop saying it. Don, I truly love you. Because every time I see you, you come up to me and you grab my arm and you say, how's your divorce? Is it done yet? And that makes me feel very safe. <laughs> and here's something you don't know. When my, this is true. When my cousin was 19 years old, you gave her her first big break. And she was a singer, and you let her open for you at the Foxwoods Casino. And you and your lovely wife were so, so nice to her. And that is why I'm here tonight, to rub it in my cousin's face that I got famous. <laughs> Hey, Don. We love you. We really do. And we're supposed to talk for five minutes. And you're a great man. And you're great. And we love you. We do. And the thing about... No, we got it. Five okay, minutes. great. Thank you. We love Good you. Night. Good night.